Hello there. I'm down in the basement wood shop this evening working on some ads handles and I thought I'd just take a moment to say I didn't get into the shop today so I didn't do a video today. Sorry about that. So this is the only thing I've got. And why aren't I in the shop today? Well we decided to take a little trip down to Taos. We went to the Fetchin House at the Taos Museum to look at some rugs specifically because my wife is a weaver and she has a rug in this exhibit at the museum and so we went down there to, to take a look at that but being a blacksmith I couldn't help being a little bit distracted by some of the ironwork some of it's fairly simple or fairly crude and I didn't take any video but I did take some still photos so we have just a real brief slideshow of a few of the things that I saw there so I thought you might be interested and since I don't have any other video today we'll take a look at that so let's head to Taos now we actually went down to Taos to look at an exhibit of weavings and rugs put on by Weaving Southwest and this is the rug my wife has in the exhibit but there was some very interesting ironwork and through this door is where we we went for the exhibit and you can see a little ring handle and a thumb latch on this door and the thumb latch is really a fairly simple thumb latch I think this is more contemporary looks like it was probably cut out of sheet metal and then then bent so it's not exactly forge work it does have a very nice thumb pad though and it's a, a simple and completely functional thumb latch you know like I say it's not necessarily a blacksmith job but it is interesting and it is uh, nice that they're using this type of hardware instead of just regular old doorknobs although some of them had regular locks and latches on them this is a twisted ring latch very interesting piece you can see the the little holder the door lock on there is very interesting it's just two rings on the door jam with one ring on the door that goes through there and then that pin inserts or you could put a lock with a through there and it's actually loose in there now it's old and worn out so this only stays put when the door is shut and locked but then it works perfectly to lock the door because it's trapped just a very simple door handle you can see where they've had to move it over to the side to make room for a conventional deadbolt which is too bad what I like though are some of the hinges and this is a very simple hinge it's unadorned but it's got an interesting finial end on it I'm not sure exactly what that represents but this shows up on several pieces this particular hinge is has been chiseled and has nice uh, forged nails I suspect as do most of the hardware on this particular piece of furniture some sort of a chest I'm not sure exactly what it was used for but you can see the the decorative chisel lines around the edge there and here's a little closer detail of the, the nail that's holding it on and that same forge detail most of these look like they were chisel cut because they have beveled edges so they are an older forging this is the latch on the same piece of furniture I really like this latch or hasp it's what I should call it I like the the plate for the the hinge mechanism that is then duplicated under the rest of the latch here is a little door grill this is on an outside door it's about a three by three hole to peer out and see who's at the door and another very simple ring handle again this is forge welded and then it's got a wrapped around ring but I, the spike that goes through is not forge welded and another ring handle this one I like it's forge welded it has a forge welded collar and it's not round it's very interesting I think that's one we're going to try and do a video of and this is how they are attached on the back side that bent over ring that they go through or the the holder is just a big staple and it's bent over and clenched on the back side very secure very simple uh, and irons this is the only piece like this I saw in this particular area and of course here is another rug this is one I actually did and have in the show it's one of the few pieces I've ever finished but Teresa Weaving Southwest wanted to show it well 
Like I said, that's just a brief look at some of what I saw. And I've been thinking for some time that I would like to go down to Taos and look at some of the other ironwork that's down there. Most of it, like I say, is fairly simple, maybe a little on the crude side, but it's honest and it's imaginative in its own sense, and there's just something special, something endearing about that Southwest style ironwork that I kind of like. And there's quite a bit of it around Taos. Some of it's more contemporary, and you can see signs of arc welds, but some of it is fairly old. Uh, so at some point I'll take the video camera down there and we'll get out early in the morning when the crowds aren't out. Today being Memorial Weekend, it was just a madhouse and trying to go through the shops and take videos of the, the iron gates and things like that just really would not have been practical. So I hope you enjoyed this little brief view of what's actually down there as far as iron work is concerned. Taos is an interesting place. It's only about three hours from us, so if we have a chance to go down there, we like to go down there a couple of times a month sometimes. But that is all I have for tonight. I'm going to edit this and then head off to bed. And Hopefully tomorrow I'll be back in the shop and we'll have a video that has some sort of forging in it for tomorrow night. In the meantime, I hope you can get out to your shop. Do try to stay safe. Do wear your safety glasses. We'll see you later.